Ciao, friends. That's the Jumbo Hugs. And Gabby. <laughs> and Gabby. Thanks for stopping by. Did you miss us? Uh, we took a little bit of time off in December to hang out with family and have some fun. And then I got laryngitis, which does not equal uh, taping no. things for YouTube. So we're back now. So here we are. And we went to, I went to Michael's and to Joanne's and to Hobby Lobby because yeah. since I couldn't talk, I was just designing and plotting and planning for 2022. So here's a pile of stuff. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. And this is the stuff we got found at Michael's. So let's get started on this little part. I think this stuff looks really fun. I know, it's <laughs> really fun. I don't go to Michael's very often. It's not very convenient for I don't even know where the closest one I know. is. It's not convenient. So it's <laughs> I think there's on one purpose. over by my work, but that's really about it. But they have their own house brand stuff there, so that's the oh, That looks like a dress, nice, so. fun sweater. Actually, that is a sweater. Is it nice? Oh, yeah. I yeah. see the t-shirt. Oh, well, let's start there. Okay. Let's well, start with that here. one. Let's start I with like that this, one. though. This would make a really nice, like, oversized sweater. Limited time only. It's a loops and threads, so that's their house brand. Never mind. Yeah. A limited <laughs> time, never of course. Buy it again. And it's wool tweed. So Golden brown. It says this is a three weight. It doesn't really look like it because it looks like it's super bulky. It's not. It it's says a lightweight. it's cinnamon, and then it says golden brown. I don't see cinnamon. I see golden brown. I would say like navy before anything else. But I like it. It's, it's nice. Very it's it's exactly. soft, and I like it. I think that would make a really fun blanket or sweater or something. I think I'm going to go sweater with this. And I got five of them, and these are huge. They're 418 yards each. That's a lot. We're large, and I like them a little baggy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. So we got five of those, which was super fun. A one ball will make a beanie, is what it's saying. So you're not getting five hats. I don't want five hats. <laughs> I don't even wear a hat. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Nice. I definitely can make something out of this. So I'm excited there. So that this was just a quick, like almost a drive-by at Michael's. Because we don't <laughs> have, it's just inconvenient for us. What are those ones? These those are ones? those new ones, those Ogos. Karen Ogos. Big I don't donut. Know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if the hype is going to be worth it. Everybody thinks that these are the coolest things ever. Five hours, one of these, and you can make a scarf. It's just they're already blended together. Apparently, all you have to do is, like the picture shows right in the front, all you have to do is start at that end, and it's going to unravel nicely. So oh, you don't right have down anything. Here. You don't have any of those little knots. Tangle free. Yes, no knots. It's not hard to find the starting point and all that. So I don't know if it's worth the hype, but Dad picked out one color and I picked out one. So I well, like that thought color. we would give it a <laughs> try to give it. We're going to give it a try. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of it. I just got one in case they don't like it because they are a little spendy. Really? Yeah, they're a little well, expensive. I guess it's probably the... Because yeah. they're, they're cutesy well, and fattish. It, feel, it feels like the, the yarn goes almost all the way through. I didn't find, like anything in the inside it, it's know. solid it feels there's probably just a little tube in there i don't know or but we got this one is mint julep i think i chose this one. where did you phone. find that on the bottom right here oh by the upc what's that oh, one called lemon plum nothing is lemon plum wow that's a boring that's name. Lemon. lemon plum all right. Well, and we're going to see what we can come up with. This. I only got the one, so it probably is going to be something along the lines of a cute scarf or something like that, like it shows in the picture. They don't even give you direct. On the inside, there's probably something. Like, I'm going to use that anyway. Oh, that's kind of inconvenient. People are going to destroy this packaging, and the design looks like it is underneath. That seems inconvenient, but all right. Hopefully, oh, it's fun. They're going for the cutesy factor of yeah, donuts. Yeah, it's so not two of those. Let's see what we factor. can come up with. I'm not sure how quickly that one is going to be on the. You can do those though. Yep. I know you've been eyeballing that. I've been eyeballing that one too. And this one nice color. It goes with here. This one. Oh, this is an actually a good yarn name. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. What is it? Meadow. That Aww. looks like a meadow. Yeah. Props to the Red Heart Unforgettable series. 
that looks like a meadow. It's really nice. It's very pastel-y, kind of a gray yeah, this is tone awesome. to all of those colors. It's kind of rainbowy. I really like this one. Browns and grays and several different shades of green. This is going to be really pretty. Dad picked it this one out. It like you need a six for that, though. A six? A it's six. A four weight. That's... It is fuzzy, and some places get a little bit fatter than others, like you can see right here. Sometimes right in here, like this oh, little piece right here is fatter. It's not, it's I not that very would. consistent. And I will tell you, I have worked with this product before. Uh, make sure that you're doing, not practicing with it. Make sure you're making something because this is a nightmare to frog. Absolute oh, I'm nightmare. sure it is. Anything Absolute that's nightmare. fuzzy like that is uh -huh. going to be a nightmare this, to frog. Yeah, I've worked with but this color. I didn't. I don't think I have. Dad picked this one. He wants me to make something cool out of it. I, I'm I got a, five. I'm a large, and I like them a little baggy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with that baggy <laughs> thing again. Oh, I forgot about these. And you got five. Yeah, we got five of those. So we put those in there. But this, I forgot about these two. I got Red Heart Soft because this one, it seemed like it needed a, something to go with it. Just for at least a, a ribbing or an edging of some kind. And I know you're a large. I'm a large. And like a little bulky. A little baggy. So, so we got two of these. It's just Red Heart Soft. But this color was awesome. It's called Toast. Toast. Um, yeah, um, Toast. All right. But well, that, that would be that. really nice as like a collar or yeah. some kind of ribbing, as you said. I was just thinking about the bottom or the, or the wrists or something. Yeah, just a little bit nice different one. so that... It kind you of could really, it's bit. so speckly that you could really go with any color. Yeah, but we picked out that one yeah. to go with it. So that's toast to go with the golden brown. So that's probably going to work. And then all these go together. Oh, I, I know, know she's already one. eyeballing that. I like this one. What's that one called? $10? I would never. Sorry. Do you really think I paid full price? No, but I would never give you $10 sales, for sales. this. $10? Well, how long is it? Be 341 easy. yards is a lot. And this is the colorful one, so they're usually more in the light ones. Oh yeah, you get yeah, you get more. I really like these colors. And these match, what as you can this? see, because they're all the same. Driftwood multi. That's not very creative. No. And this one is called gray. <laughs> Alright, what's that one? Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Deep sand. Sand? Deep sand. Sand. Deep sand. Deep okay. Sand. <laughs> but you see, all these are the cozy merino wool. Um, that's the loops and threads, which is and a limited time only, and that's which is uh, Michael's house brand, and they all go together. So we thought I that, that I could come up with something really good. I wish if I only knew what size Gabby was. <laughs> I'm a I large and a little baggy. <laughs> <laughs> but all of these go together. So we got gray and the uh, driftwood multi. <laughs> see, the gray is in there, and then our deep sand. <laughs> That color is in here too. This is probably sand and that's deep sand. Oh yes, deep sand. I think we should have, I think we should be called to make up yarn co name colors. Yarn colors for us, we should be in charge of that. Yeah. Because that would Go do better it. than sand and toast. <laughs> <laughs> that was just from Michael's, that was a quick pick stuff. Quick pick stop. So are you gonna go ahead to Joanne's? Sure, was it? Joanne's I went to on purpose because Whoopsie, because it was on sale, I had a major sale going on. Oh, yeah, okay. And something I'm, that I was getting on purpose was, ooh. Oh, my I don't like one of the colors in there. All right, so this is a, just starting with, because it's oozing off the table, the stuff that I found at Joann's. I went specifically to get a couple of things and I ended up with a lot more than a couple. <laughs> A lot more than a couple. It was funny. But on purpose. Those? On purpose? Oh. oh Derek picked those out. So we'll do that one. Yes. And I think I might have some more of that. I'm not sure if there's even more. Derek picked out these. I'll I'll take, one. take one. <gasps> this one is just Red Heart Super Saver. I'm sure everybody's seen this one before. It's artist print. Oh, artist print. But it's really like pretty. It's very colorful, but it doesn't have it like only does the like from green to purple with pinks. It yeah. doesn't have a it, lot of orange and red and then it's not neon. It's just a very subdued. Got three of those and then this one that coordinates with it. Medium purple. Boring. <laughs> Boring medium purple. This one's artist print. That was interesting. That's a good one. But so that's, that's super fun. One. Super fun. Got three of those. That's gonna be a oh four. That's gonna be a project. Hiding stuff. I know, I'm hiding stuff. And then 
Dad, oh, I, it's fun when I let him just go, oh, pick out something, because he gets really excited about certain colors. He goes, this one's fun. He's like, well, it is fun. It's very bright. Retro stripe. Red Hugs is I do really like that one. I got something similar, like, again, through the Super Savers, the stripes. Oh, that's what. I did get one of these stripes ones, but then Probably it's very it neon. Block, yeah. But it was very blocky, and you couldn't. I couldn't really do anything with that. So it's Which just sitting to in. Make stripes. Well, I did not want stripes, and I did not <laughs> want a striped scarf. I wanted to make something more, and it just didn't work out. And so it's waiting got, for a project. And then we've got Red Heart Super Saver Lemon that we decided would be a nice accent color. Yeah. To go with this, because I didn't want to add more pink, because there's already so much pink. It seemed like yeah. yellow was the one that is the has the least representation in these skeins, so this yeah. is gonna be the border, or the edging, or whatever I turn this nice into. One. We'll have a yellow yeah. outline, the yellow border, yellow edging, yellow ribbing, who knows? Something. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but we'll figure it out soon. I have a lot of patterns in the works right now, but I, well, that one has not, I have not decided on that one yet. I got pumpkin, <laughs> this is Karen Simply Soft. This is a four weight. One of my favorites, everybody's seen this before, but it's kind of hard to find pumpkin and persimmon. So I got a pumpkin and persimmon because they actually had a I feel like I store. accidentally have those colors. I don't know. They're really I hard have to, to check my yarn inventory. I always have to order these online and wait and wait and wait and you have to find them from somewhere obscure in order to come up with some of these colors. Well, so if you find them, get them. They had them in the store, so I grabbed these two because I just like those two oranges. They really don't have a purpose other than I wanted to have them in my stash. So they just got to come home and hang out with the rest of my Karen Simply Soft yarn that's up on my up on my big rack. Now this stuff right here is on purpose for a huge project. Not this right here. This Please. for a huge project I'm working on. This is kind of some fill-ins of stuff that I have. Excuse you, ma'am. You might be able to kind of tell what it is a little bit. You understand the color schemes, but I'm working on something that is going to be huge. Are you going like, yeah. like this? Yep, there's, it's got three shades of yellow in it, four shades of blue, black, and I think that one's chocolate. This one is pistachio, dark sage. This one is just black and black. Maybe. No, it's not navy. Dark, Dark country, country blue. blue. And this one's light country blue and also medium country blue. Of course, they were out of it. Yeah. And this one is one of the bone. shades of yellow. But yes, that should be bone. Oh, off -white. off white. Oh, bone is the darker one. So these are very specific for a project that probably everybody will see in the summer because it's going to take me a really long time. I already have it designed. It's just very intricate. And it's really cool. I'm so excited about that one. I can't even guess. Because I know some of your projects, but I couldn't guess. It's my starry night. Oh. I never take, I, Nope, that's not what I It's going to take a guess. while. But I want to make sure that it's all perfect before I show anybody anything. Because I pride myself in being able to explain things clearly. And it's very, going to be very complicated. So I want to yeah. get it started first. Is that one gold also? Um. Sunshine. sunshine okay so gold and sunshine and off-white <laughs> yeah but those are my three shades of yellow so see they're just barely change facey they just barely change it's supposed to be subtle so i'm using those and then i don't have medium blue yet they were out of it so i'll get that one later two shades of green i've got black and chocolate so excited. Oh. No, and no Vasey. No Vasey. No Thank you, girlfriend. That did not mean go to another location. So that's what I'm going to be working on periodically. All right, and here's the rest of it. This is going to be obvious. Oh, I don't like that. This is going to be obvious what it is. Oh, look at that. You always say that, and then it's never obvious. Did I find another one yellow? Another yellow. And another green. You've seen this patchwork sweater before. I have all the things that this is Big Twist from Joann's. This is their house brand. Just regular old four weight. It's very similar to a Red Heart with the Super Saver, except I find this one's a little bit softer and it's easier to work with personally. 
I that's what I think. And they were all like half price. So Same. I've got <laughs> the awesome sauceness here. Um, there's three blacks, three reds, the orange, the green, the yellow, I and have this ugly ones. blue. But I'm pretty sure. What is it called? Burnt, yeah, burnt orange. Burnt orange. For my, red. for my autumn blanket that I have yet to start from our last <laughs> yarn haul. Varsity green. Oh. You still haven't started it? I have had no time. <laughs> Varsity yellow. Okay. I Black. Guess. And good job. Black. Good job. And then this <laughs> one is just some kind of baby blue. What do we call it? Perry. Corn flower. Corn flower blue. No. That is about right. Remember when your crayon box, you'd have corn flower blue? No. Oh, you have to draw really hard because it was such a light color blue. Right, so that is the patchwork sweater that everybody knows. Everybody's seen it before a thousand times, the Harry Styles one. I am making a Harry Styles one. Harry Styles patchwork sweater for Lily and probably one for Evie. I'm probably gonna have to make two because they both I want it. I don't want one. I'm good. It's a really cool sweater though. We could probably put a picture of it up right here. Size large, extra baggy. <laughs> extra baggy. That would be for the girls. You don't want to wear this one. This would be for my other girls, for my Lily and my Evie. Yeah. But they've been asking me to do it, so I'm going to put one together. It won't be too hard, I don't think. It's just that it's very textured. Each color has its own texture, so I have to decide how to do that because the original pattern, the original design of it by, was it J.W. Anderson, was knit. So, when you oh, do that it, would take forever. And then when you crochet it, it's knitting and crocheting, their stitches don't match up. So I'm looking at like a jersey slip loop or something. And I don't know what that is. So I just have to try to recreate some stitches in the crochet way that were originally knit. So I'll figure it out. I'm pretty good at doing that. But there's all of those and I'm hoping there's enough here to make two. But if not, oh. So I'll we'll fill in the fill in the missing pieces, I guess, in a little while. We're not even close, and I'm out of box. Uh oh. I hit the purr button apparently. Oh no, she needs to go away. I've tried. Daisy, go away. This is Lion Brand 24/7. It's cotton. I love this. This one's denim. I have three of them. I've already snitched a couple of them because I wasn't being, my I wasn't having a voice, so I couldn't talk, but I could design. So I've got these. So I have three of those. Only one is still available to show on screen because it's already half of a project that you'll be seeing in a couple of weeks. And then I got these ones. They're making a very specific sweater, very specific colors. Oh, did you finally get the right color? Because yeah. I know last time they sent us like all the wrong shades and not even the right color and I know it was just crazy but I finally got the right one this is goldenrod again lion brand 24 7 one of my favorite cottons this is a really nice product and they have a great color palette so there's six of those and then I got the simply soft which seems to work nicely with it even though this is not a cotton it's still nice and soft so this is a very specific sweater that I have to get together as soon as I can. I only have this many fingers, so you know, it takes me a little while. I only have this many fingers, so I can only go this fast. Isn't that what Lily used to say when she was little? My legs are only this big, so I can, I can only, only go, go this, this fast, fast. <laughs> or something like that. Exactly. She was like four. So there's that. There's six of those, and then three of my Karen Sister Soft in feathered gray, which is not like the uh not like the normal grays that they've always had that's uh heather grays this one is like a solid silver kind of color which is exactly what i was going for i'm so excited so those go right, into their very own box and then what else we got this the rest of it is all hobby lobby oh hobby lobby okay i love hobby lobby i think most of the stuff in here this is fun stuff we got very specific here. We'll just get all this stuff on the table first. Oh, these are fun. Yeah, these are fun. Oh, this on the table plus this big old bag, which is the biggest bag ever. Are all from Hobby Lobby. Went to Hobby Lobby on purpose to get the stuff that's in this bag. And then this stuff followed us home. <laughs> there you go. So this one actually cheated. I got five of these. Two of them are already accounted for. They're already 
in process, oh, okay. but because I couldn't. You know, I saw you working with that one the other day. Because I couldn't. <laughs> I, know what it I, is. I couldn't talk, so I had to do. I had something, to do something yeah. Something else. So I had five. Because I'm making something specific, blah, 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 specific <laughs> that I'm going to be ready. You guys are going to see in a couple weeks. So this is, I think this one's so pretty. Look, this one is called, oh, this one will fit in the box. What we got here? It's called Harvest Hues. It's browns and greens, and it looks kind of like a blue, but it works up a, a little bit more like a slate. Like a, yes, like, like a slate, exactly. So these are really fun colors. I'm working with them with a dark blue. I'm really excited about it, so I'm gonna show that off pretty soon, just not quite done. So I snitched two of those, whoopsie. I snitched two of my five. And got those started over. No, yeah, we can make ready. We can kind of figure out what goes together here, I bet. What do you think, Gab? Those, that, that, and that one. And these three. Maybe with that. Yes. Yeah. These three. Here, you hold this one. You hold those ones and tell about it. Oh, this looks like a nightmare. Oh, don't make a mistake and have to frog that one out. That was a no, nightmare. No, oh, excuse me. The fuzzy stuff. Yeah, no. Well, Practice with a yarn that you don't care for as much. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, this is Jade Taffeta. Jade Taffeta. Taffeta. <laughs> Taffeta. Taffeta. And it's Yarn B. So obviously everything, almost everything at Hobby Lobby is their own brand. So that's, that's fluffy. Yarn B. I know, isn't it soft? It what is it made out of? It wants me to use a six millimeter hook on this tiny stuff? I don't think so. That's never gonna happen. No, it doesn't tell you. It says it's a four, and it's 70% wool. 70% wool, and this is a four weight, but it wants me to use a six hook. I'm not Where on earth did you find that information? In the most inconvenient place it could possibly be. Well, how the heck? Oh. <laughs> Am I supposed to find that? And it's really tiny too. Yeah, five, five know. and a half or something like that. But the six, a six is a little six big. Six is gonna give you really big it's stitches. It's gonna be really loopy. And then Dad picked up this color to go with it as it's like a nice an edging. One. This is I love this cotton, which is one of my other favorite cottons. If I don't have the twenty four seven, then I like the I love this cotton. I love them very much. And this cotton. See, I'm in a cotton kick right now. They're making some. Oh, I clothing type Chloe item. Jada Taffeta. And this one is Serene Spa. Now that's a good name. A good name. Serene Spa. It's kind of like a seafoam mossy, or not mossy, sea, like a seafoam. Sea foam. I really like seafoam green. And that goes with all of those beautiful blues and greens that are in the Jade Taffeta. So that's a project. And now you can see these ones are a project. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like yet, but I have Yarn B Sugar Wheel Cotton. This is a solid. That this one is, is a stripe, I think. My absolute least favorite color in the world. Yeah, this is not going to be Pepto Bismol Pink. <laughs> it is not called mm -hmm. that. It's called Pink Canyon. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, they can't use Pepto Bismol, but <laughs> I don't like that. And again, this is okay. There's three kinds of cotton that I really love. This is the other one. This stuff is really soft, and they don't have as many colors as I would want. Like between all three of these cottons, I can come usually come up with the co color that I'm looking for. But not everybody has all of them. So this is Yarn B Sugar Wheel Cotton. I've got Pepto Bismol Pink, aka Pink Canyon, and what's that one called? Zest Wishes with a Z. Zest Wishes. Oh, Zest that's Wishes interesting too. And this one, I believe, is just snow. This one's called snow capped. Oh, so instead of it just being It goes with white, our lovely snow outside. Yeah, with our almost snow, our smushy snow that we have outside. So that was on purpose to go with that yellow one that you just put away. Oh, this sorry. This is for Lily because she likes pink and yellow. I'm making her something specific, something special. And when I'm done, everyone else will get to share it too. Not for you. Nothing. You'd get no pink. No, thank you. No pink for you. I'm good. This one's probably more more fun for you though. That's my shade. Me and Lily are very different. <laughs> I like these, not that. And this one again, still the sugar wheel cotton. 
Nut, oh, nutmeg nibbles. Nutmeg nibbles. That's, that's my favorite. Awesome. Nutmeg nibbles is the coolest hey, thing ever. Hey, that's perfect. This is nutmeg. And this is nutmeg nibbles. That's perfect. That'll be awesome. So that is a project just like the white and pink and yellow one was. Yeah. This is going to be a project too. With the nutmeg somewhere in there. So these are going to be super fun. I don't know exactly which, which project is going to get to have. The nutmeg the nibbles. Nutmegs. Nutmeg nibbles. That's my favorite name, nutmeg nibbles. Nutmeg nibbles. nibbles. That is so cool. I'm not sure which project gets this yet, but I have several in mind. So that's that. That would go away too. Yay. I have And this is another very specific project. I'm making a huge sweater. I hope I got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a Christmas red. sweater. It no, it's not a Christmas sweater, but it is using Christmas colors, but it is not a Christmas sweater. It's a great big fluffy white sweater with an accent on it. But this one again, something that Lily said she thought was cute and I wanted to make it anyway. So Christmas. at least I have someone who will wear it. <laughs> not to this person. But you don't want the big white one? It'll turn orange because it'll get covered with George cat hair. <laughs> She can't yeah. keep it. Just, flex of yeah, she can't flex keep of. anything white because she has an orange cat. I mean, we have two orange cats, but so there's that. Feel how soft that stuff. I is. know this stuff is which really one is soft. This tender touch. I've never. Where used is this the, one from again? Is this Hobby Lobby? Mm -hmm. This is all Hobby Lobby. I've never really used the soft. tender touch before, but it's really really soft. It's tender. It's nice. Yes, <laughs> and it is. You're calling this a five weight? I guess it's pretty close to being a five weight. A six weight. Okay. I would never go that big. Well, no. maybe if I wanted to be fluffy, but they want six and a half crochet hook. They're saying it's a five bulky. It's it's almost like in between a four and a five. This yeah. is not quite as bulky as most fives are. So maybe it's just because it's fuzzy a little bit. So I'll have to make a swatch and figure out if I do agree with the six and a half millimeter or maybe it's it possible. is. It could it's be. Possible. Well, there's other times like where I've gone up too. too though. Mm -hmm. This is all of. I don't like that. This. <laughs> you don't like, like this one? Fire engine red. This is called peony. I don't think this is what color a peony is. They're not this bright. But this isn't on purpose. So hopefully I have enough white. But this is their house brand, and it's just white. And this wasn't on purpose. This is actually why I went to the store. Where's this? This big old. Oh look, there is another white. Oh, you got <laughs> like seven. seven. That's a weird number. There must be another one. But this is my 2022 temperature blanket, which I have started. I was about to say it's a little late. 2022. You do one color every day if you're not familiar with what a temperature blanket is. And I've got a really fun stitch. I have this this through January 8th at, let's see, this is at our house. Crazy all over. <laughs> And this is at Grandma's house in Minnesota. So I'm going to make two that show what the difference is. I think it's going to be interesting at the end of the year. Cold. Yeah, cold, 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 cold. So we start at, starts right here at like negative below, less than 10 below, colder than 10 below. Starts here, then it goes here every 10 degrees and around this corner. And this is over a hundred. Grandma's is not going to have any of that shade of pink. No, but we will. But we will. And right now we're using, I'm using a lot of these colors and a lot of this at Grandma's house right now too, because it's been very cold. But it's, it's kind of fun how you can see the difference. This is through the 8th of January. They look similar, but they're very different. I think the summertime is when you're going to get a big exactly. swing. Exactly. Well, come like, I don't know. March. They're still gonna have snow and we'll be oh it's seventy today. Mm -hmm. We're in yellow. Or exactly. Something. I'm gonna be starting and they're to use still these in colors. Blue. I'm still down here in this like twenty degrees, but we're up here where it's sixty and seventy very, very easily. Oh, it could be that it could be that next week. It could be seventy degrees here next week even though we had snow. It's gonna be kind of a nightmare to That's a lot. Three hundred and oh my god, you're gonna be fraught. you're gonna be no, Leave these are. In. I already did it. 
Oh, so you just had the snippy snippy? I just, yeah, but I just didn't snip him yet. I oh, make sure okay. I was about to say, oh my place. gosh, 365 of those, I yeah. would cry. But this is That's really fun. Weekend. I'm going to be showing everybody this next week, what the pattern is that I'm using, because it's reversible. It has two different sides. See? There's flower. two sides. One side looks like this. One side looks like this. And I will give you all the names of my color palette. And you can crochet along with me all year long. I'll give you updates every once in a while to make sure that you're actually working on your temperature blanket because if you let it go until... That's a lot of Googling you have to do yeah. to go back and figure out what yeah. the temperature was. If you let it go until like July, you're never going to make it because you're not going to catch up. That's like 150 That's days. 100, each, each one gets a row. So each, each one of these is a day. Each day gets a row. Yeah. yeah. Each, day gets, each day gets its own row in a specific color. But if you get a month behind, it's not just one roll. It's 30. Yeah. So, and I right now, I'm a week behind. This is through the 8th. And what is it today? The 14th? So 15th. I'm going to uh, share with everybody my colors. It's the 15th. The 15th. Oh, see? <laughs> You're even farther behind now. Ooh, I'm further behind than I was when I was so excited. That I had eight <laughs> Four oh, seconds yeah. ago. And I have it through the 8th. So I'm, I'm down seven days. So that's not good. But I'm going to show everybody that this week. We'll uh, show everybody my palette. And what I have planned, what my, my stitches are, my stitch count, because I was trying very hard to not make a blanket that's this wide and nine feet long. Yeah. <laughs> so I did all the math. So I'm going to share that with you guys next week. Oh, I forgot about these two. This is edging. So they're not part of the months because there's not really, it's not going to get that cold where I need to go to like minus 30. <gasps> I've been in Minnesota where it was like negative 50 with wind chill and stuff. It but I don't need a whole skinny yarn for that. I'll just find some I white. I would certainly hope not. <laughs> no, I have been, be I've been horrible. I've been real temp minus 40 in Minnesota before. So it could happen. It's just not something I need a whole skinny yarn for. If yeah. that happens, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we have extra white yarn. <laughs> it's going to get its own fancy color at that point and go, oh my gosh. You're going to get a neon. That's an OMG <laughs> kind of a color. It's going to get, yeah, red. <laughs> Got a lot of work to do. Yeah, that's a lot. But that's what I did while I had no voice and was hanging out with my family and enjoying the holiday season when everybody was home from school. And then we went shopping to fill in uh, all the, of the things that I've designed. Yes. So this will keep me busy for a little while. I'm going to show you them periodically, but this is next week. So stop back soon. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Bye. Bye.